Dedication of What's Wrong with the World. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Benjamin J. Thompson, RabidQuill.com. What's Wrong with the World by Gilbert Keith Chesterton. Dedication. To C. F. G. Masterman, M.P. My dear Charles, I originally called this book What is Wrong, and it would have satisfied your sardonic temper to note the number of social misunderstandings that arose from the use of that title. Many a mild lady visitor opened her eyes when I remarked casually, I have been doing what is wrong all this morning. And one minister of religion moved quite sharply in his chair when I told him, as he understood it, that I had to run upstairs and do what was wrong, but should be down again in a minute. Exactly of what occult vice they silently accused me, I cannot conjecture. But I know of what I accuse myself, and that is, of having written a very shapeless and inadequate book, and one quite unworthy to be dedicated to you. As far as literature goes, this book is what is wrong, and no mistake. It may seem a refinement of insolence to present so wild a composition to one who has recorded two or three of the really impressive visions of the moving millions of England. You are the only man alive who can make the map of England crawl with life, a most creepy and enviable accomplishment. Why, then, should I trouble you with a book which, even if it achieves its object, which is monstrously unlikely, can only be a thundering gallop of theory? Well, I do it partly because I think you politicians are none the worse for a few inconvenient ideals, but more because you will recognize the many arguments we have had, those arguments which the most wonderful ladies in the world can never endure for very long, and perhaps you will agree with me that the thread of comradeship and conversation must be protected because it is so frivolous. It must be held sacred. It must not be snapped, because it is not worth tying together again. It is exactly because argument is idle that men, I mean males, must take it seriously. For when, we feel, until the crack of doom, shall we have so delightful a difference again? But most of all, I offer it to you because there exists not only comradeship, but a different thing, called friendship, an agreement under all the arguments and a thread which, please God, will never break. Yours always. G. K. Chesterton. End of dedication. Read by Benjamin J. Thompson. RabidQuill.com.